What's up, team? Welcome back. It's your biggest fan of The Real Casadero, and I'm here to talk about a concept. If I were them, what kind of people and things would I surround myself with? That is a quote from the last broadcast that I uploaded, where somewhere in there I, I said this in relation to if you were going to go out and get a job, the way to manifest the job when you write it out. And I, I don't think I, I covered this precisely, so I'll cover it here. In order to make what we want happen in this place, in order to become the person that we want to be and to have the things that that person will have, because whatever we want, we have to become the type of individual who can receive those things for what for whatever reason and we don't have to apply a lot of effort all we need is a little bit of faith and a belief that if we follow through with faith that these things will happen and as momentum builds if we use that momentum then they'll happen faster so we start out with a little thing a small step and that small step could be some research but then we follow that momentum into further deeper research and then eventually whatever the next step may be for if we were going to get a job we would research the type of jobs that were out there what is it that we're looking for and then the next step would be okay I need to put together a resume how do I do that there's steps involved in that once the resume is done then you have to send it out who am I gonna send it to what kind of cover letter am I gonna use you're thinking through all these processes but you do them with little effort because they're all just thoughts until you begin to act and you can only act on one thing at a time and every task that we act upon can be broken down into even smaller tasks until one task may just be stand up the other task may be take a step forward take another step forward there, there could be 30 tasks 30 steps to the desk log into the computer type out this statement and that's it. And once that's done, that's done. You've completed a part of the process and you've done it in faith. If I with the belief, you have to carry the belief that if I do this thing and I continue to advance this thing that I've started. That it will come to fruition. And that's how all of this works. I've just given the backdrop to every success that you've ever had in your entire life. A series of small steps and they've been applied across everything that we've done. From learning to walk to learning to, to talk, learning to run, learning to ride a bike, learning to drive a car, learning to sit and focus on an individual speaking for a prolonged period of time in order to glean some sort of information. These are all things that we started to learn with small processes. Now, along the way, depending on when and where we were born, there's a lot of other information that's inserted in these experiences that we have where we're learning about this place and how to operate it and a lot of this information comes from individuals who may not necessarily know exactly how they've done what they've done and here i'm conveying the first principle of quote unquote so-called success here on the planet earth here in this universe on whatever planet you go to if you can get there in this universe it is all applicable because you are the only intelligence and everything you see, everything you perceive is a reflection of what you emanate. It's a reflection of the thoughts that you put forth and you make manifest. And this is proven in computer science. Not proven. There is no proof of anything. There is evidence that this may be the case. And there's much evidence. Every individual who's ever done anything in this place is proof that what's inside of an individual's mind can be manifest in the world. Your proof, the life that you live right now, the things that you do right now, these were all once ideas. And you may be watching this now because this idea that you arrived at is not your ultimate idea. And I'm here to tell you all you have to do is keep going and keep going with faith. Keep taking those small steps on a daily basis. Now, back to the original concept, if I were that person 
who are the people and the things I would surround myself with. So you're aiming to be in a particular place doing a particular thing. So in your mind, you have to impress that you are surrounded by people who respect you, who come to you and ask you questions. And you go to them and ask them questions. You develop these relationships in your mind's eye. What kind of friends are you going to surround yourself with? Are they going to lift you up? Are they going to bring you good stories, stories of their successes, information about how you can be more successful, contacts that they've made that may be useful to you in your life? Or are you going to surround yourself with people who bring you all of the bad news, not even from, from their lives? They bring you bad news from outside of their lives, from people in places that you don't know and have never been. There are individuals that will inform you of the negative things that are going on in these places. And you never would have known about them unless they brought you this information. And now you're here with this information. And how are you supposed to act upon it? This information may alter your whole course. When the truth of the matter is that if you simply stay on the course you're supposed to be on, all of those things that are in the world, they'll fall away. Because you are working on building yourself into your ultimate idea. So you would surround yourself with people who are working on building into existence, into reality, their ultimate idea inside of their individual universe. If we try to be too concrete about this, we try to put our universe together with somebody else's universe and we go, well, hey, how can we have the same things exist in both places? That's getting too deep into the weeds. We need not think about those things. We need only focus on what we want manifest in the world and, and to place uppermost in our minds that particular thing. And one way to go about this until we reach a point where we can simply pull up these thoughts and feel these feelings and carry them with us throughout the day is that we write them down. And if we have to, we write them on a daily basis. This is what a journal is for. This is what a diary is for. But if we watch the movies, we see that people, they'll write negative things in their journals, all the bad things that happen to them throughout the day. And they carry those bad things around and they spend their time trying to unwind why these situations turned out the way they turned out. And they carry these things with them into sleep and through the night and through their dreams and back into the next day. And they manifest those same situations. So the drama perpetuates. It's like a television show from one episode to the next. In this place, in this world, these episodes are divided by your time in sleep, your time unconscious, your time in the unconscious realm where all things exist all at the same time, all the time. This is why you can go to sleep and you can dream and live an entire lifetime in a dream and then wake up and have only been asleep for an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, not however long you were asleep. There are people who go into comas and live entire lifetimes inside of the comas and come out. Inside of this coma, they've lived 100 years. But they were only in the coma in this place for a week, two weeks, a month. Some people get knocked out and they experience weeks. Or they pass out, experience weeks of life in the dream realm. They come back here and they were only gone for a minute or two. That's because what we think becomes reality. But this place is constructed in such a way, our senses, our senses, the, the body that we interact with the world through, takes in information in a linear fashion. So things come out linearly. They can't exist all at the same time. But how this place works is when we go off into the ether, what we carry with us, we impress upon that place, the construct. And those ideas, they're brought forth to be, a, to be descended from above into the physical realm. And they're descended in the form of idea. The idea enters the mind of man. And those who are believers in themselves and they have the faith. They see these things as opportunities, aha moments, and they begin to act and move in a certain direction. And over time, depending on the velocity, velocity of the idea, 
this thing will manifest faster or slower, sometimes overnight. Because somebody already has it or they have the means to produce it like that. We need not worry about how it's done. We just need to know that this place is like that. That what we desire, if we hold that thought and we can carry it with us for a long period of time, with that feeling, that vibrational energy, that the world will move in a way to bring this thing into reality and begin to move it towards us. And if we practice this over and over again, we can get so good that it can happen instantaneously. And the best way to do this is to surround ourselves with the people and the things that inspire these feelings. And another reason why we have close friends and close family is so we can project feelings of love and gratitude and admiration. The system is set up to put things in front of us that draw these feelings forth. Us is intelligence. We must understand these feelings. We want to hang on to them. We don't need the situation. We need the feeling because the feeling when carried will continuously produce the situation. Despite of all outward appearances, this is why two people can be sitting in the, in the, in the same building right next to each other and live two absolutely different lives when they part company. One person could go get on a yacht and the other person, they go get on a bus. And neither one of these things are bad. They're just different levels on a spectrum, all of the same thing, all based on the way we think and how thought is manifest in this place. And on that note, team, I'm your biggest fan, the real Casadero. The moral of the story is, is surround yourself with the people and the things that are going to induce the feelings that you will have when you've reached your desired state. You want the feeling of the wish fulfilled, the feeling of being what you truly are, who you truly are. If you like the broadcast team, hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button. This, all this stuff tells the algorithm that this is useful information and other people may be interested in it. And as we do that, the channel will grow and the world will begin to move in a different direction as it has already begun because it is your world. The moment you change your mind, you become a different person. The person you thought you were dies away and the person that you want to become is born. You're born into that person. You are that person and now you're becoming. You are a human being, a human becoming in the process of evolution, in the process of ascension from a lower state of vibrational thinking to a higher state of vibrational thinking. You're now in a place to build personal power. Until next time, team, I'm your biggest fan, The Real Casadero, and I look forward to seeing you in the next broadcast, team.